One week after the downing of Flight 17, the world's attention remains focused this morning on Vladimir Putin. Headlines in the days after the disaster singled the Russian president out. Time Magazine's latest cover story is entitled Cold War II. Newsweek dubs Putin a pariah, the West's public enemy number one. That magazine offers a rare look into his personal life and daily routine. Michelle Miller is here with some of the new revelations. Michelle, good morning. Good morning to all of you. And despite his leading role on the world stage, the man Forbes recently named the most powerful in the world has remained much of a mystery. Now, interviews with members of his inner circle done over the course of more than three years are telling us much more about the life he leads beyond the public eye. In public, Russian President Vladimir Putin is known for his icy stare, seemingly impenetrable, much like the life he leads. He doesn't talk, an interpreter says. He feels no need to smile. The interpreter was one of dozens of sources who spoke to Newsweek writer Ben Judah. The question of what does Putin do every day, I think, is a hugely important question. Photos of the shirtless president horseback riding and fishing have given us a glimpse of his personal life. But those close to him have revealed new details, like his morning routine, a late breakfast, then a solitary swim, where, quote, assistants suggest he gets much of Russia's thinking done. In his office, the ex-KGB officer shuns technology, instead relying on paper documents and Soviet war-era landlines. It paints a weird, miserable, sinister, lonely life in which Putin talks to very few people, is extremely isolated. He's obsessed with knowing what the world is saying about him. Aides prepare daily press clippings, and while he rarely uses the Internet, his advisors show him parodies. Hello, uh, Vlad, it's Barack. I'm sorry, sorry, I've been playing iPhone game Candy Crush. <laughs> it's so addictive, I just take the candy and I crush it. <laughs> In reality, Putin has a strained relationship with President Obama and other world leaders. When he travels abroad, he only eats food cleared by the Kremlin. Everything he will need arrives by plane load. Russian cooks, Russian cleaners, Russian waiters. The president is indifferent to the offense of the host nation. He's clung to power ever since becoming president in 2000, even finding a way to sidestep term limits with a stint as prime minister. His inner circle calls him czar, implicitly linking him to the iron-fisted rulers of Russia's past. Calling him the czar stopped being a joke and it became real. And it just reflects how he grew more and more powerful and they grew to fear him more. And so little is known about President Putin's private life. The New York Post and other outlets report this morning that Putin's 29-year-old daughter, Maria, lives in the Netherlands with her Dutch boyfriend. And citizens there, including public officials, they're calling for her deportation. Yeah, they're saying very unkind things, mm -hmm. writing picture, names yeah. on her picture, asking her to leave the country. And they know where she lives. Yeah. And, and we've got coming up a man who's known him and who's met him, General Jim Jones. Spoken with him. All right. Interesting conversation coming up. Thank you, Michelle. Thank, Thank you. Very Michelle. interesting.